When God created the earth, he first created the drum. Now some people would think that's a strange thing to say, but rhythm was always the center of the pulse of the heart of the universe. My relationship with drums are spontaneous. I never find myself getting any formal training. I was just doing it. I find myself doing it. Natural. It's a natural thing. If we are still enough, we can hear our breath, the rhythm of the breath. We can hear the rhythm of our heartbeat. We can feel it. Man then, looking at his surroundings, decided that he was going to start moving from the hand clapping to creating things that he would be able to create rhythm in which was even more audible and that he could get more variety and variation out of by creating. So we got scrapers that could be made of bamboo and that you can go into your kitchen and use a grater and use a fork on it. Things that you could improvise, but there are those that were made. So you could make scrapers out of bamboo. You would make maracas out of calabash with stones or seeds inside that would shake and you'd get a particular kind of rhythm pattern. There were cow bells that people used, all of this sort of thing, metal things that you'd strike on each other. The creative impulse was always there to get something that was going to resound, that you could play with sticks, with hands, and then you could put all of these things together and create an orchestra of rhythm. The drum is an absolutely wonderful instrument because there's so much variety and variation that you can get on it because you can get the sound of a bass in the center towards the end you get treble sounds and at the very tip you would get the highest pitch sounds the drum rhythm started to serve a purpose it could be used for social activity and they would invite through the rhythm people to dance. So it was used for all kinds of communal activities. The drum was used for religion, for religion that had its base in both Europe and Africa. In these traditional indigenous dances, it is not the dancer who is leading the drummer. It's the drummer who leads the dancer. So if that man don't go, play the break. Them can't stop. So play a little bit now and then go into the break. Everybody, watch it, listen to this. thing you have to learn that with these dancing it's your spirit that dance when we think about the drum being used for religion what it does is there is an intensity that allows the body to lose itself its selfness the, the self transforms because of how intense the patterns are how thick the levels of more than one drum can create and that is why we have 
drums that play the lower notes and then we have drums like this one which would identify the patterns you could play kumina <laughs> could play a junk on a pattern on it all. Although the junk on would use um, a rattling drum and sticks and so on, but we could actually play the junk on a rhythm on the drum. So it is used for all kinds of things with the intensity of the rhythm patterns for religion. There is a transformation that takes place when you're dancing over a long period of time and with a certain intensity and a lack of physical focus that we lose what is our awareness or consciousness and with, with the transformation you find that what people refer to as possession takes place because you, you lose the sense of self. You become part of the communal group, but you lose a sense of self and you get possessed. Mentor, mentor, which was the music of the 19th century into the 20th century. Up until the 50s, popular music was mentor and this is the kind of patterns that you would hear. Or we could do a uh, Naya Bingi. Revival.
was the one who forced me to start drumming because I used to play on the desks and I got in trouble for it. So he encouraged me to come and join the group and ever since then, I can't let it go. No matter how much I try, I always find myself being pulled back in one way or the other. Drumming has been the main part or the main focus of my life for the past 19 years. Yeah, I don't know anything outside of drumming. It has helped me to get over stressful times. It has helped help me to get through hardships, um, family passing, anything at all that you can think of in life. The drums has brought me through the good and the bad. Um, drumming is a spiritual and soulful thing to me. Drumming is just how my ancestors speak to me, guide me in every way as before. Fly, fly, fly away oh, to Zion.